thought we would make a short video here. I got my new jig in from Mr. Coop. This is the 30 inch Ultimate. And uh, I did uh, get a hold of him and ask him about uh, making a little modification to it. And he said that was quite all right, do what I wanted to do. And I thought I would show you what, uh, what kind of a modification I made. Into uh, wanting to make hat bands and 30 inches well, it's actually 25 and a half or whatever he says uh, for his uh, working area. So, <clears throat> this being three-eighths of an inch from the edge, I went back two and an eighth and drilled another pair of holes. And then the same thing here, I went back uh, two and an eighth and drilled another set of holes. So, uh, that gives us an extra four and a quarter inches over the overall length, which... Uh, for a hat band that makes it very easy and very workable. Uh, that was all I really had to do, find the right bit of course, and that was easy enough, the holes were already here. But with that, uh, we'll take a look at uh, a couple of the uh, bands that I've already made. And I have found a neat little trick here that works for me. I set this on just about two and a half and it lets me set the uh, hat up there to work on the back end so with that we'll there we go it just sort of puts it in the right perspective uh, show you the hat band this is just the this is actually what's under the next hat I will show you uh, and what's under here is uh, rattlesnake it's called rattlesnake cord and uh, those uh, ends I didn't plan on using, but uh, what happened was I wound up, I didn't plan ahead. I didn't have enough cord really to tie the two knots in there that I really wanted to do. So that worked out all right. But uh, it's just a uh, standard Cobra knot. And uh, like I said, this is kind of my first, uh, first attempt at a video. And really my first attempt at uh, uh, doing paracordings. So I just used a knot that was easy for me, which was the bracelets. I'm not a big fan of the bracelets. I, I use them uh, uh, to the to tie the uh, knots. And so now here is a little more dressier hat. And this is the cord, the rattlesnake cord that's underneath on the inside of the uh, other hat. The other one just sort of an everyday yard, go to the grocery type thing and. I kind of like this rattlesnake cord. I think it was kind of pretty. And, uh, of course, if you're going to have rattlesnake cord, you got to have uh, you got to have a rattlesnake tail on it. Let's see here if we get a little better view of that. Now, I intentionally, and on purpose, tightened it, the knots down more on one side than I did the other to give it uh, a little bit of a curved effect. If I could show you that very well, but anyway, it came out okay. So that's it, and that was why I needed the extra length because that's uh, that uh, inner piece of paracord is like uh, 27 and a half, and uh, those uh, extra holes in there just really worked out good, really did. So I want to thank Mr. Coop. Uh, this is Mr. Dan, Danny Hammers on this end, and uh, hope you enjoyed my little video, and uh, you might want to think about uh, adding those uh, couple of little uh, extra holes there. I, I did want to know the exact measurement, so I did try to keep it rounded off, and, uh, but it did work very well. This is a very nice jig. He does uh, excellent work on everything I've noticed that he does. He does excellent work on, so uh, kind of nice having him in the... Uh, paracord hobby so to speak okay with that we'll say goodbye uh miss patricia is in there rattling pots and pans she just fixed a nice dinner we just got done and thought i'd make this quick little video so long <laughs>